I didn't know much about Andy when I first arrived in Japan. Um, but I did see his face on some of the posters that were around. And I realized that he was a person of importance because his character on the actual poster was quite big. And I could see that he had a world champion belt on. So I wasn't too sure what uh, that championship belt was and what it was all about. But I trained very hard and, and this is what I wanted to do. So it was, for me it was an emotional time because I wanted to prove myself in the kickboxing arena. I knew that K1 was, was quite an important organization even at that time because a lot of people had spoken about it. So, of course, I wanted to impress and do my best. Um, I trained very, very hard for that fight and I was still young. I was still young. A little less wrinkles and damage to my face now, but uh, I had hair at that time. Um, a little bit of hair anyway, but hair nonetheless. I wanted to fight hard and when Andy knocked me down in the first round, um, a lot of people thought that that was it, that Andy had won. But in my heart and in my mind, I knew because I prayed before the fight and I knew that uh, the fight wasn't finished. And when I got up from that, I said, OK, now it's time to go to work. And that's exactly what I did. And if, you, if people have seen the fight, they will always remember that fight because I opened up in a, a barrage of punches on Andy that I don't think he's, he ever experienced in his life before. I think we counted the punches. There must have been about 31 or 32 punches that I punched him with, and 28 landed properly. So, and when I won the fight, I was totally... I can't even explain the emotion, emotions that I was feeling because it was um, a time when I fought in front of so many people, and I was the underdog, and um, I fought my best. I fought with my heart, and even though I knew so little bit of of what I was doing because my technique and my experience in kickboxing wasn't that vast, but I knew that uh, just with a little bit of that I had and the big heart that I had in the fight uh, is what got me through the fight and that was so amazing for me. Um, I was so, so happy and I, I can't even explain the feeling that I felt when I won that fight. It was amazing.
I say one of my best fights, there's two. Because I rate them equally the same. Second fight against Peter Hart. That was 1996 K1 Grand Prix. When I, when I beat uh, Peter when he was still at his best. Um, at the top of his game.
、今回はあれですね、はいえー、とアンディのなんか魂がマイクに乗りつつって、はい、なんかあのー、全てがマイクに流れちゃってですね、はいえー、このマイク・ベルナルドの表情は終始変わることはありませんでした、心は一つ、ペンディール・アンディ。Hopefully, I'll be sitting at my home with my children sitting around me. For、well, 10 years from now, no, I don't think I'll be fighting. I think I definitely want to、um, get involved in, in empowering people in my country to do the sport because I think it's an amazing sport. So, and I think we have a lot of talent. So, I'd love to open up a school somewhere in South Africa and,、um, and start teaching. For sure.